All right, fantastic. You're still watching hashtag why in the morning. And remember, the conversation continues on the hashtag why in the morning. And uh, the segment is MCM. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is at Y254 channel. And on Instagram is underscore Y254 underscore channel so that you get uh, the right Instagram handle. My social media is at Brian Sokwa 101 and right about now we are about to get into an interesting conversation if you are back at home and you are watching and you're wondering sometimes you know um, let me get back to myself when you invite a guest or when somebody comes to visit your place you're like hey Connie, how long are you going to stay? And especially relatives. I don't know why exactly it happens to relatives, but you know, these are some of the behaviors that we've got right here when it comes to families. And joining me right now in studio are two powerful gentlemen. They were here before, I guess, a couple of weeks, but they are back again to take on this conversation. Good morning, guys. Thank you for coming back. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome, Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, last week, uh, the, the last time we were here, we were talking about how to survive. Help to survive a boy yeah. child. Yeah, but now uh, we're back to hosting, uh, especially if you can place here, Marafiki on a camp place in Yunostain. I love the fact that uh, you were married, he, he was single. We left it at that part. No, I'm still married. <laughs> You're still married. <laughs> I'm still single. You're still single. <laughs> so the, the chain is still continuing. But yeah. I want to start with you, T. Uh, yeah. He's producer T, uh, and uh, he's John Odwar. Let me start with you. How long, bro, should a guest stay? at your place, especially, uh, uh, maybe tell us a, st a little bit of story when you were newly married, uh, well, but two were freshly married into marriage. I would like him to interfere in a situation in the household, in Nini, Bibi, Akopale, Amna Mtoi, Nini Wawili too. Ha. Ha. Wacha kwanza nasembe ya santu sana kusabe kutolika tena huko. Okay. Yeah. Alafu, mambo na wageni kwa nyumba, especially kwa mtu kama huko married, especially wale wako newly married hawa tu wamewana juzi juzi tu relatives wanafa kucheza mbali kabisa kucheza mbali kabisa na kwako okay. na kama ku, kuwachezesha mbali ni noma <laughs> itakuambia venye unawoto wachezesha tu okay. eh, juu ndoa ikiwa, ikiwa changa eh, ukianza kuinvite watu kwa nyumba unajua wae ntunu unajua uya wife na wife ni wetu wanajua so anybody, anybody else manya nakuja around nyinye anakuwa stranger Na sasa mnakuta mkona ideas zenu ni tofauti venye mahandle vitu ni tofauti at least mimi nime learn wife ya yeah, mimi learn but sawa yeye haja learn huyo mwingine okay yeah so haitaki haitaki sako kubwa hapo mwanzo aha yeah. sawa so, let me come back to you when you're single of course uh, kuna kuna ka budget you always operate on a budget but just in case there's somebody who is coming it will be the general adjust kidogo but utakuta kani rafiki anataka ku stay a little bit longer ama kani dem Either way, vice versa, manyata kuje. How do you tell them that, bro, it's time to leave, it's time to go, disappear, without, like, offending them? Sometimes it's very difficult, but kama boy child, lazim ucheze kiwewe. Unajua kuna wakati, maybe, kuna kibudget yako, umepangia. Unajua si maboy child, sa zingine, ndata kulangi kwa nyumba. Yeah, eh, okay. Una survive tu kwa inje, inye unakula kidogo. Then kuna ile kibudget ingine, unayikanga ya emergency. Then kuna wama boyzo wamekuja, Ni boy wako wewe umefika kwa huko umepata hata ashapika unashangaa bwana hii kitu yangu ilifaa kunipeleka for one week wewe ushaiweka bwana umeikula so lazima sometimes we fake a call kama ni mtu amekuja for like 2 hours you can fake a call or pretend uko busy bwana kuna place unaitwa unafaa kwenda and then unajua hiyo time unafeka call anaweza kuambia wewe niache tu uniambie penye nitakuachia ki Hapo pia lazima ucheze kiwe umambia, ah, kia tuwachangi hapa, hii lazima tufunge, tuende na wewe. Yeah. Jua, jamu kiachia kia watafungua wa inge, wa inge, kwa, wa inge mm. kwangu. So mm. you can fake a call. Or sometimes you can even change a mood. Ulikuwa tu saa watu da kakidogo na ambia jamaa, ah, mise feel poa. Tabidi nimetoka nini, nitafute medication kiasi. Yeah. Na sijui itakuwa aje, but penye naenda, huwa natibiwa mbali, huwa natibiwa mbali. Okay. Yeah, kumbe muna mtoanisha. Now, uh, from experience I'm so married, uh, kuna wale wase watataka kuja kusaidiwa. Of course, ka marriage may stabilize kidogo na, especially close relatives. Yeah. How do you tell them bro to leave? Maybe ya kona shida. Ama ni one of your bros or cousins, amekosa mm -hmm. rent mahali ya kafungiwa keja, but the only place that is a pata hope, ama na is a pata kusetu, ni kwa kwa kama itabidu mem host for three, two days. But kwa situation yako haita weze kana, maybe uneshiko mm -hmm. bed sita. Ama it's a one bedroom. But unajua ile privacy, 
ya marriage sometimes mm. i don't know utafanyaje inge kwa kwa hiyo situation a close uh -huh. relative amekuja mm. situation haizikubali sasa eh nilikuwa naelekea hapo unajua mtu anaweza kuwa na shida and most of us tukikuja tukikuja mtaani tulikuwa hosted pia na watu wengine though wengine si relatives pia walitu host mm. but sasa kwa hiyo kesi yenye umeseme ndugu yako ama dada yako amekutembelea alafu maybe ni juu ya noma fulani amekuwa nayo huyu mtu lazima kwanza mu discuss na mtu mnakaa naye kwa nyumba mnataka mkae naye for how long kwa sababu umesipoanzia hapo ati amekuja ame tu na ameanza kuishi yeah hiyo italeta shida kwa itaribu relationship yako na, na mke wako ama yako na mume wako okay so you have to discuss na partner wako eh huyu amekamu na sio hiyo amwezi mkamu involve mpati sometime mkiona hiyo time kama maybe alikuwa anatafuta kazi hivi after sometime atakuwa amepata job kama atakuwa amepata job manzi tafuta ni fair yeah tafuta fair hata kama utakao hapa fair kopa ubaki ukilipanga kuliko uzuie shida yenye itakuja mbele pea mtu yeah. fair mwambie ndio tulie tulie kwa saa utakao yeah yeah kuna zile impromptu visits zenye wewe uliko tu unaendelea na life yako fit umejipanga mm. hata maybe hauna budget hiyo day cuz unajua ni life yako na level and the unajua vile utakula nini nini mm. then all of a sudden a best friend ana pop up to out of nowhere and mm. crazy thing is itabidi mm. tu aishi a best friend akuja aishi kwangu hawezi kuja kuishi atakuja kutembea yeah. kama mtu ni best yako in fact mimi wana advice watu na nawaambianga kama ukitaka kukaa mkwangu niambi unakuja Okay. Hey, lakini ukikuja tu hivi ati ni, ni surprise. Wewe mwenyewe unajipiga surprise. Kuna mambo mazoeana, anakuja angalia mm. design tool like kuna sikia kwa mlango dang dang ding ding. Hata ingi utamwacha kwanza aingie. <laughs> Mwacha aingie kaa chini kama ni kachai mpatia kunywe. Ukisha nini hivyo? So jitoe tu sasa. Itabidi umejitoa. Yes. Itabidi umejitoa. Itabidi sana. No, lakini sasa si wewe utoke kwa nyumba. Uh -huh. Ujue vonye utamtoa kwa nyumba. Yeah. That is kuna watu wako wana matabia kuna mtu atakuja kwako anaanza ku anaanza kukagua kagua keja yako nini hivi watu kama kwanza ni unazuia lakini kuna wale watu wako na discipline na pia yeah. kuna wale watu wanaanza kuja kwako anakuletea kuna watu anaza, mtu anaanza kutembelea sasa ina analeta idea ya biz idea ya kumake chapa wewe uwezi kwa uwezi kwa uwezi kwa mtimua unaangalia wale watu unatimua na wale tu wale watu unaweka weka kwako ya yeah. mm. so it depend na mse it depend na mtu ana visit yeah, yeah, si necessary ile ya kuwe close relative nini nini anybody anybody as long as mtu amekutembelea haiko arranged lazima tujue kwanza ni, nini kimemleta tukishajua nini kimemleta tujue sasa at, tutamtoa aje kama ni kama ni mtu amekuja na idea vitu positive anaweza kaka do pia si kulala kaka tukifika jioni aishie <laughs> yeah eh sianze awesome. kufuga watu kwako okay arabo mm. tijan mm. i don't know i can come instantly to i don't know dogon ding dong bila watu wameo huwa wana they go about it uh -huh. unajua kuna watu wanaweza ku visit I yeah. don't know hiyo ni yao mimi sijui but yeah. kuna watu they go about it but I'm yeah. just thinking okay sometimes kuna mtu anaweza ku visit Mr T mm. na ni relative wa bibi wako mm. bibi yeah. anampenda bibi anataka kuwa na wewe mm -hmm. well on the other side wewe ndio unatoa una hustle wewe ndio unapiga budget na pressure ni kwako pressure ni kwako unataka aende but Bibi yako anataka stage wataki aibu watu wako watasema yeah. walikuja kutembelea tukaibuza yeah. yeah. and that's why nilisema mwanzo yes. yeah. like, ensure that mmesikizana na partner wako kama hamjasikizana wife anataka akae na mimi nataka aishie hiyo sasa ni shida itakuja sasa kwa ndoa sasa sasa itakuwa kwa ule mtu yeah. ule mtu amekuja sisi wawili sasa ndo tutakuwa na shida ndio mtako sana tutako sana tutako sana so lazima tusikizane kwanza okay huyu mtu amekuja ataka stay for how long amekuja jua nini no no hizo lazima hizo vitu mjua kwa hizi siku za kwanza not, not, not really not, not necessarily the first day unajua hizi mtu hizi ingia tu mwezi umekujia nini na ameingia yeah. tu leo yeah. macha ta relax relax alafu ndio anaanza kumleta pole pole but, hmm? but kuna kuna wale ni close relatives hmm. ambayo uh, to say for example ni your mom ama hmm. like amesema side ya bibi ama side ya girlfriend whoever you are 
mm. ama said your boyfriend vice versa mm. amekuja ndio hiyo ameingia bedroom kidogo kidogo <laughs> nauliza eh na hata moshangi hizi manguo jameni zimekaa hapa for how long kidogo kidogo ameenda kitchen amepanga vyombo kidogo kidogo nauliza eh hey, kwani lunch mnapika saa ngapi and then hadi mm. anapea na run down mimi mi nataka kuku bwana <laughs> how do you tell them that please hii ni boundary bwana usi cross unajua kwa keja lazima mtu uko, uko na oda zako yeah. alafu pia kuna heshima There's no way mama anaza kuja ama mtu aingie tu ati anapita pita tu ovyo ovyo. Ukitaka kumzuia, ukitaka kuzuia mtu kufanya kitu kama kuingia kitchen, kufanya nini? Ensure that huyo wife wako wako kama ni vyombo ziko sawa, kama ni viti ziko sawa. Yeye akiingia tu kwa nyumba akikaa hivi, aone kitu ya kurekebishwa. Eh, hey, itabidi kama ametulia tu. Sasa atakuwa tu venye tu anaambiwa ndio ndio anafanya. Eh, hey, angoje mm. kachai hapo kama ni lunch nini? Hakuna kitu hataamka aende aende kutafuta kama nyumba inaona tu. Yeah. Organized. Mm. But but unajua sisi kwa watu wenye tuko single ni tofauti. Yeah. Najua boy wako anaweza kuja kutembelea. Yeah, ukweli cool, by the way. Eh, yeah. na na ameamua kutoa kila kitu. Ikifika yeah. ka lunch time anakuambia ah ni lunch tutakula nini? Mm. Amekupea. Anaenda na kupea eh, pants. Ama mnaenda sokoni endo na buy. Endo na buy. Yeah. Yeah. Ikifika jioni unaona ameingia kwa mfuko tena ametoa kitu. Sisi hapo yeah. tuko comfortable. Sasa itabidi huyo huyo itabidi ume extend conversation kidogo. Unaweza kufukuza huyo. Unacheza chini. Huyo utacheza chini. Umesikia msema utacheza chini. Utacheza chini. Now from you to say my best yako mekam anapea na form ya pesa. Anakupea kwa kitu kidogo pale. But then you feel like anafatu aende. But deep down ameleta something on the table. Acha nikwambie. Ukija kwangu hata kama una pesa kiasi gani unaona kama mimi E, nataka kupika chai sina sukari. Yeah. Wewe toa pesa ya sukari kwa hiari yako. Okay. Lakini hiyo usifikiri ati utakupatia guarantee ya kuishi hapo. Hata kama unatoa pesa. Wacha tubaki tuendelee. Wacha tu, tubaki tukikopa which unajua hatuizi kopa. God ataprovide. Ata hatuizi kopa. Lakini ati weke mtu kwa keja juu. I mean ametoa breakfast, no, ametoa lunch. Wacha wacha nikuulize eh. Mm. Kuna watu wanakujanga taona wamekuja kutafuta kazi but mm. kuna kitu alikuwa hasola alikuwa anachapa ako na pesa kidogo so amekuja ku stay kwako like two months ama one month kama yeah. bado anatafuta hapo job but eh. he's ready mm. to facilitate vitu zina nini kwa nyumba true true kwangu utamchukua yeah. utamtumalia stay na kidogo family. ukitaka mtu uki, 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 ukileta mtu kwa nyumba tuseme kama relative wako yeah. amekuja kwako nimesema kitu cha kwanza elewa neni mjue hata kama amekuja kutafuta job unajua kuna mtu anazama amekuja kutafuta job akuja akae kwako aona amefika atulie <laughs> sasa mimi ni first born it happens yeah. mostly to first born so you make it kwa familia akona job yeah. it maybe ha- haishi ile ma- maisha kubwa sana but at least anaweza sustain mm. but kuna tu venye utamwambia aende ama small sister ama small brother but kwa hizi vitu zote kama yeah. unataka kujenga relationship yenu ya baadaye okay izuie mapema No no, no Mr. T. Zio mapema. I'm telling you. Wewe well, unajua hujao. No, but but so, I think ukujia <laughs> ukujia <laughs> basi nakwambia baba. Mm. I think relationship is not all about relationship yangu na bibi. Uh-huh. Relationship as a first born inafai kwa relationship yangu na watoto wetu pia. To yeah, true. Extent. Relationship you sometimes ni relationship ya bibi yangu na mamake na watoto wao pia. Wow. Mm. Uh, na pia watu wa kwenda. So sometimes yeye naishi naye mimi kwetu mimi mimi ni last born, right? kwa wewe ni first born. Inamaanisha watoto mm. wao wote wakimaliza okay, high school watakuwa wanakuja kwetu. So yeah. lazima tutafute mechanism ya yeah, tutakuwa tunawaccommodate. But yeah. time yenye tunawaccommodate tunawaambia life is this and this way. Yeah. Ikifika this inafaa ukue unajisustain. So you see kuna first borns wenye wazi wakaaccommodate watu. Okay. Yeye mwenyewe ameshindwa kuja accommodate. Anakazana. Huwezi <laughs> mwambia aanze kwa hapo kwa accommodate watu wengine. You see na na mimi nakwambia Usilete hata kama uko na uwezo yes. usianze ku involve unani relatives wako kwa ma, kwa marriage yako especially kama tu umemari ujue you are raised differently venye wenye umeraisiwa ni tofauti na venye kwa kina wife wameraisiwa venye ya, ya perception yake ya vitu ni different na na, na, na yenu so ukianza kusema unaleta sister yako ama brother yako jioni mkubwa Ujua utaribu usiane na watu wawili na wenda watakuja kukosana what about what about kama mimi nimeeleziwa yenye sifai kwa accommodate watu kwetu sijaiona watu wakikuja right na mm. kwao eh ameeleziwa like wanakaribisha kila kila mtu wa church yeah. especially wa church, church so, families yeah. so how will you go about that so watu wa church yeah. watu wa church wakikaribishwa wa, wa wanakaribishwa kwa for how long it depends i'm sure it depends mm. like vile tu umesema at first mm. na kumbuka wale sema mwingine utakasirika kidogo uonyeshe sura kasi but remember wewe yeah. sasa ni msewa chats uh-huh. wewe uko na position kanisani 
mm. ama tuseme hata wewe ni pastor acha tu summarize it na kuna ile like unafausaidia watu sio itabidi watu wa kujitokishi kwako but at what point itabidi mm. waanze kuambia eh hey, bwana budget naona imepanda especially saa hizi na economy ya saa hizi watu wafai kwenda kuishi no, kwa no, of course wanahitaji they need help genuinely mm. they need help eh yeah. uh-huh. aha utasaidia ule mtu unaweza saidia lakini usilete mtu kwako kwa ndio msaidie. Si lazima mtu akuje kwako kwa ndio msaidie. Unajua no, no, Mr. T au watu si ati sisi ndio tunawaleta. Au watu hmm. wamekuja, wamekuja kutafuta refuge kwetu. Umesikia? Sometimes when the only relative wenye uko Nairobi. Hmm. <coughs> Yeye alikuwa anataka kuja Nairobi. Akakuja na Nairobi kwako. Hmm. Anasema ah wacha nikae kwa Mr. T for like one month nikijitafutia. And then unajua hmm. to some extent lazima tukubaliane. Si kila kitu yetu na is not enough for us. Yeah, But we must also learn to share to the share little the we have. Uh-huh. Umesikia Mr. T? Si lazima ati kila mtu we block everybody. Hata yeah. mimi sasa hii si ati kila, kila time na block everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh kila mtu sometimes amekuja tu Nairobi for like a weekend. Lazima nimpigie simu niambie bro, mm. uko within the nini? Kuja. Yeah, kuja kuja. Yeah, kuja to we, uh-huh. to cool a lunch. Yeah, true. Lunch si lazima ikuwe kanyama 1 kg. Inaweza kuwa hata kwota na tunakula hapo na tunapiga story. Like also you bond with your family. Si ati kila but mtoto my sister, my younger sister kifunga shule, lazima niwaambie ah kuja unitembelee. Like you see na uko single set uko married. Eh si ati niko married. Si time inatoka na muache karais wewe kula fanya hivi hata feel ile bond. Ile bond will be there. We should not yeah. block our relative juu tumeoa ama juu tuko single ama juu hatuna to some extent yeah. maybe how what we nyona kuja kututembelea the yeah. source of blessings to our our, to our life <laughs> bro okay okay mr t ngoja <laughs> unajua kuna tofauti ya ku block mtu Aha. na kuna ule mtu ashakuja huyo mtu ashakuja wezi block unaona no? ni kumtoa venye utamtoa yeah. lakini ku block mtu wezi block mtu baba hiyo yeah. ni kweli wezi wezi ya mtu maybe mtu akona noma mali yako hawezi nini sasa badala mtu aenda tuseme mtu anaenda kujiua wacha akuje kwako si ndio hiyo ni tofauti hiyo ni mtu mwenye bado hiyo mtu mtu mwenye ameshafika na kuna mtu kuna mtu maybe anataka kukuja hao ni watu wili tofauti so yeah. ule mtu mwenye uko naye tayari kwa nyumba ndio unafikiria vinyo utafanya nini utamtoa kwenye utamtoa yes yeah. Yeah. lakini si kama ni dam Uh, well, let me switch it back kidogo yeah, switch, switch kwa single yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for example ni dam amekuja mlisikizana yeah. uh, Nasikia ana maybe amekuwa amesikizana but kuna ile design tu unajua utakana utaka na huyu dem Friday na Saturday ama Sunday atakuwa ameenda because maybe in studio L- me... but in Africa Saturday hakuna signs Sunday hakuna sign Monday unafaenda job bado hako to hana plans haonyeshi hata symptoms na signs that yataenda Thursday mm. Wednesday ndio hiyo wiki ingine ishaisha at what point and then to, to, to even make it more worse ni unampenda sana na hauwezi mwambia hauwezi mwambia ende utafanyaje sometimes we apply the maturity part of it unajua si kila kitu utafanya tu kama mtu mwenye like sadi zingine unakuwa out of love see yeah. it out of love love, love is no. blind <laughs> no sometimes unakuwa too mature uh-huh. and then una meet una mwambia oh, we were planning this but okay. i think to this extent is enough ata kama kuna reason sasema ah nikienda home utanizushia oh sio nini nini asema vitu mingi tu hapo so he's like anataka, na make sense. Akis, akisema ataenda home atamzushia kwani anataka kuishi hapa forever unajua itafika point yenye lazima ataenda so lazima muulize fine wewe unataka kwenda lini maybe unataka end si unaenda monday job utaki yeah. kumwatakezani yes mm, utafanyaje Sinta... how will you hint nitamwambia so, anataka kwenda job ameniita job kisumu jipeka safari but pia kuna situation niliona during covid yeah. kuna beshi tangu dem alikuja kumvisit kutoka bungoma Okay. Alikuja tu for like two days. Yeah. So ile na lockdown na kila kitu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ikabidi yule dema aishi na yeye for three months. But sasa mm-hmm. ilibidi life i change. Ule jamaa yeah. alimwambia, "Eh, hey, umezoea tukikuja tukispend hivi na hivi. Mm-hmm. Sasa hii sasa juu ya corona, juu ya yeah. covid na everything, yeah. tutabidi tume tume reduce our our, ex, our expenditure. Yeah. But we'll survive. So to some extent also you can listen to her. Unajua yeah. sometimes tunatoanga tunanishanga hao watu without giving their fair hearing. Let's yeah. you apply yeah. sometimes fair hearing some wisdom mm. yeah. yeah so mm. utamini uta, utaka chini umsikize umwambie ah these and these nilikuwa nataka hivi atakwambia maybe and then hapo ndio mtadecide fine tumekuwa tukispend hivi sasa i'm not comfortable with this wacha tuanze ku spend hivi mm. kama ko okay with that life will be okay speaking of that cost sharing yes uko single vile umesema yeah. best yako na pop out of nowhere ako na situation vile umesema And then umespend budget yako unaona imefika kitu around 20 second hapo. Yes. Haona kitu. Yes. 
will you extend mwambe eh hey, bro on the next week itabidi uanze kufanya ka shopping kidogo mimi ni kama nimepungukiwa kama ni mtu anatumia you say that i'll say that kama ni mtu anatumia akili hata kwanza anafaa aone tu kuna vitu si za kuambiwa bro kuna vitu tu kama wewe ni mtu macho wewe ni mtu mkubwa <laughs> ni umekuwa hii kanairo utaona tu jamaa is struggling kama amezoea kukuja hapa ameona bajeti yako iko sawa nini nini na naona una ka kitu na kuoni na pesa unajua mtu wako na pesa ni rahisi kujua akuoni na pesa itabidi ametumia akili but but sometimes pia itabidi ume open up mwambie ah bro mimi hivi na hivi sijapata ka kitu kama uko na kitu you can chip in tusaidiane sisi maboy i think mimi kuishi na mtu mtu wenye anaza chip in inahunga tu ngumu to one perspective kama una two bedroom kama ni ka one bedroom itakuwa inabidi kama ni mali safi amekuja kama ni bed sita sasa hapo shida inakonga shida inakonga shida inakonga naona mattress nyingine mm, yeah kama ni beshti yako mna share kwani iko nini kama ni boy wako sana 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 kama si boy wako itabidi ame amekanyana tuseme ni dem ni friend but hakuna ile hakuna ile at ile extra relationship ile attachment come to visit uh, Onje mostly or on expect something will happen overnight ni 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 but this one hapo ndio unajikutanga umenini kuzo kwa ile perspective eh unajikutanga ah huyu alikuwa tu best friend lakini meenda extra mile ju unajua utamtimoa aje amekuja ni friend eh sasa hapo hapo ni amekuja acha nisaidie huyu jamaa wangu venyo binadamu amejileta angalia venye amekuja Okay, unajua kuna mtu anaweza kuja ametembea na akuje tu na ki handbag. Yes. Ukiona amebeba kuna ka extra bag ya nguo, hapo zandi unaweza kujiuliza. Lakini kama amekuja tu kutembea, e, ile time tu amefika, ukiona tu ile mida inaelekea ni e, ma 66 hapo ya jioni jioni. Anza mtoe tu. Mwambie tu sasa e, e, tuna, but, una, una, nini hivi? But, but Mr. T, you are not yeah. being realistic. Sometimes huyo mtu amefungiwa hao. Usi usitoe mtu kabla ujue reasons zake no reasons zake za unajua sometimes amefungiwa hao na maybe anaweza pata half of the money na uko na half of it so 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 Yeah. Naona umekaa hapa ni saa tatu yeah. Na sijakuzoea kukaa hapa hadi saa tatu Nitamuuliza what's the problem? Na kuna madema wezi sema? Hmm? Hata sema uko na situation. Kama ni best friend kama... anaogopa kwa Ibika. No, kama ni best friend mwenye amekubali kulala kwako na ni bed sitter, yeah. huyu anaweza open up. Unajua okay. mtu mwenye anaweza lala kwako na ni bed sitter na mko na bed moja. Na ujue pia mtu hezi, mtu hezi kuja kukutembelea kama amna kausiano naye. Yes. Lazima mko na kausiano. Kausiano fulani yeah. ita, yeah. itafanya open up. But unajua kuna au wengine pia yenye yeye yeah, amekuja tu kusumbua, hataki kuambia ana shida na hata ongea, yeye yeah, amekuja tu wako tu amejileta tu. Kuna wengine yeah. wao wanajioza wana jio, wana hivyo. Yaani yeah. ameenda tu hivyo hivyo ndio aliolewa. Na hivyo ndio amejileta hivyo mwenyewe. Yeah. Mm. But I don't mostly kwa instances za maboy child who happen evil. Rarely do you see vice versa like for you. Yes. Sasa ukienda kwa dem. Uh, how long should you stay? Kwa And uh, uh, before answer you let me let me go back to T cuz umongea mm-hmm. sana kidogo. Mr. T before you finally got married. No uko na date yo dem uko na. Did she ever make visits to you? Ama mlika tu official hadi mkaenda kwa altar ukamvalisha ring pastor akasema now you can kiss the bride <coughs> and the rest is history <laughs> ama kulikuwa na some interchange hapa yeah. katikati uh, yangu ilikuwa simple yangu ilikuwa simple tulidate tuna yeye alikuwa anani visit lakini visit ya ya mchana peke yake oh daytime visit a daytime i could extend the siku siku nini nini uh, mwamba usiku hapa so usiku... short time engage hadi the final day hapana wow that's kuna different sleepover? Eh? Yeah. Akuona sleep over in between. Ah, mean good boy. Anaanza ku sample mali si juu ni nini. Mean good boy, mean good boy. Eh, lakini najua ni penye pia yeye, nilipata pia ni mtu mwenyewe, ni mtu anajielewa. Should you would you say it's the church iliyofanya mka stay hivyo? Cuz a lot of people say na kwa kwa decision shema, lazima tuko pure Zii, ni decision. Ni decision. Uh-huh. Ni decision. Ni decision. Pastor atakwambia ukae pure, lakini kwa mwenyewe uja decide kwa pure, wewe yeye kaenda na hiyo purity. Uh-huh. Eh, utanguka uta, uta tu. Hiyo okay. decision yako. Okay, mtu mimi nataka acha tuka hivi. Na wewe mwingine pia ako sawa. Hiyo but you were comfortable akikuja? Did you like visit her? Sasa uzuri wangu ni. Aha. Mimi si kuwa nataka mambo ya kudate, una date mtu mwaka moja, miaka mbili. 
Aha. mkingoja nini nilichapa tu nilichapa tu mwezi eh sasa hizi nimewa kutoka mwezi tangu 2015 2016 17 2016 ndio almost like now clocking five years five ama sita yani almost the same so unaweza sema haukukaa kwake na hakukuja kwako akikuja kwangu alikuja tu kukuja saa kukaa lakini daytime alikuwa tu atembea mchana maybe tuzurura hivyo kiasi kiasi lakini majioni yeye anaenda mimi okay nampeleka anaingia kwake na muacha mimi naitoka anaenda wapi kwangu so tukasema acha saa hii mambo ya kununua unga huko na huko tusinunue unga kwa nyumba moja so tukaenda tukaenda kununua unga kwangu sasa that is after umeka ring kwa finger mzee kidole sinaona haina kitu ama kuliandaza eh a misiku maria tu kufanya wedding kwa kongo na harusi na jeseni ilikuambia story ya harusi venye ilikuwa eh so so let's come back to your question mimi uliniuliza kwanza sisi lala kwa demo kwa demo utalalaje sasa mwanaume kuna wao sio enda kwa demo na stage usingizi na kushika aje bwana inakushika tu aje si ni demo yako niambie ni bibi yako wewe unajuaje ni wako peke yako wewe unajuaje bro unalala tu wewe unalipanga rent hapo kwanza wewe ujui unalala bro maybe wewe unalipa kuna msee ulipa rent wewe unalipa wewe unajuaje pesa yako inaenda kwa rent maybe wewe unalipa kuna izanuka usiku bro kwa demo ukienda kwa demo usiwaje haribu kulala kwa demo lala kwa demo in short a disclaimer hata ikuwe saa saba ya usiku What if wale usame sema ah niko tipsy sioni kama nitafika sina pesa za uba please niokole hakuna hiyo mchezo bro <coughs> you are life fast hiyo mm-hmm. place ujui mko wangapi uh, unajua sometimes unaweza kuwa unajua wewe ni number one, kumbe wewe ni number 2b inakuwa hapo na brag wewe ni number 1 wewe ni number 10 hii huko hata z huko ni vile yeah. akikupata wewe treat nice so una feel you are among the top 3 Yeah. Never. So kulala kwa demo hapana demo akuje kwako bro. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about hygiene. Wase wengi hostiana msiata kuja aishi kidogo ngozi mm-hmm. kwa chafu ama kuna watu ni wachafu yes. kweli ni people are out here they have things. Kuna watu wanaishi huko. Utaingia kwa keja mse ujue tu eh huyu ameoa lakini bibi ni mchafu. Mm-hmm. Ama huyu bwana ndo mchafu. And either way you attract each other. So mna attract yana wase mna mko na the same qualities mm. and then utakuta guest mwenye ana come ako like eh kwa nini atizi hizi vitambaa za meza mlioosha lini si nimeoshe na imagine anasema mm. hivyo ana mbele wa wageni wengine so ila kutanika imekuaibisha wewe bibi so mm. itabidi bwana ametoka kidogo ku survive ka guilt guilt and then arudi baadaye at mm. what point do you declare the boundary waambie wewe usitaje hiyo tena ama utamwambia eh please go hapa wezi bidi wezi fukuza mtu lakini i think mwanzo mwanzo nimesema nyumba ikikuwa iko na order nyumba ikikuwa na order ni kitu muhimu sana alafu pia mtu mwenye anakuja kutembea kuna lazima uangalie mtu mtu mwenye unataka kukaa naye kwa sababu kuna watu hawana heshima kitu ya kwanza alafu kuna wasi wana force issues unajua kama ni mtu wa kuforce lazima ujue tu vinyo utaongea naye huyu binadamu eh and before mkosana timoe ndio mimi eh mtakosana alafu yaribu maisha ya baadaye kabisa so yeah. kama unaona tu kuna red flag mahali ambia tu mtu aondoke but, but kuna watu pia usema ukweli yeah. eh unaweza kuwa mnaishi na bibi mchafu lakini hata akisema hata kama anakuambia ukweli baba labda sisi yake mdogo anaona hii kitu is not right atakuja yeah. kwako kwa point eh, out hizi mabed sheets ziliosho mwisho lini na yeah. kuredi kusaidiana unaona sometimes kama bed sheet akitafuta nini kwanza no hapo hapo sikona sikona watu wameoa na, na bado sister zao na daddy bedroom kwa yes. kulia hadi anafungua yeah. zako za ndani bwana yeah, because yeye ni sibling ama wewe unamlipia fees wewe ni the elder brother amekuja kufanya housekeeping kwa wote ni kwambia si pretend mimi niko na sister it mbuna. happens in yeah. africans yeah. okay mimi niko na sister yangu mmoja ako form 4 uh-huh. nikiwa home mimi sister yangu nifanyia everything like nikiingia tu nyumba na umekuja like like mwenyewe yeah. 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 hivi na hivi na hivi hata sasa yeye na expect nikioa baada atakuwa anakuja kwako atakuwa free kwangu atakuwa okay. na control like everything na mpenda bibi eh na pet i'm okay with that so bibi okay. mimi nitapata wife nitamwambia this my sis Yeah. she's the only one kwetu so mm, mamangu okay. anampenda mimi nampenda brother yangu anampenda so like yeye mwenyewe anataka kufanya hivyo yeah na yeye mwenyewe ako discipline you see okay. hata sasa yeye akikuja penye niko apate kitu ni chafu ataniambia atangoja tu nifike tu aniambia eh na hizi uliosha uliosha mwisho lini like yeah. so kuna wengine watakuwa <coughs> frank na wakwambie unaona ukiwa yes. single venye uko hivyo hiyo <coughs> ni sawa inaruhusiwa lakini once you're married 
hapo unaanza ku set boundaries. Yeah. Hakuna tu venye mtu hata kama mtu ni sister yako na uko na wife kwa nyumba. The moment umeanza kuwa, kuwacha tu sister anapita kila anapita tu kila mahali. Mtako sana na wife. Tuseme bro, kwa hii situation unandanga job as early as 5 na unarudi ingi the last time 7. So vitu zote zina happen during the day. Yes. Hauka mm. where? Mm. Anaenda nga bedroom hadi anapanga nguo. Hata of course ndio anamwambia, "Eh kuja, kuja tupangeze mango." Hata yeah. kuja tu ayo near your yeah, brother. You see, unaona sasa hiyo relationship, uh -huh. hiyo ni tofauti sasa. That's different now. Hiyo ni different you wao wenyewe wa wameingiana. Like like na wenyewe kivi yake kaja yeah. na bibi. Hao wenyewe wameingiana. Okay. Unakuta wife anamwambia, "Fanya hivi, wanafanya." Yaani wamekuwa kitu kimoja, lakini si ile tu yeye mwenyewe amekuja na kuanza kujiambia ajipeleke kila mahali kwa nyumba yako na wife yako Mr. T what about kama kuna weakness unaweza sometimes au watu wenye tunao lazima tu accept mm. wako na some key weakness kuna mtu tu si msafi unampenda mm. ya unajua hiyo ni weakness yake kufua ni issue so, tuambie ni ukweli bro yeah. usikuwe hapo useme ati oh bikisiza na sister kwa miku, amejua vile mmelelewa unajua sister yangu sasa anajua vile tumelelewa home yeah. so hata akikuja huko atakuwa anaona oh bibi huyu mtu ako na key weakness fulani mm. so anakuja na point out Nani si ni kusaidia hii kazi. Si hadi sasa apendi bibi yako. And then najua mimi mm. I'm feeling bibi yango afai kuwa na issue na sister yangu juu. Me I can't date my sister. So hata yeah. sister yangu akinifanyia everything kwa how I can't date her. Mm. She's my blood sister. Mm. So yeah. I'm feeling bibi yako anafaa kuwa comfortable na sister yako. Lakini sasa ujue yeah. kama nimekuambia kama wameingiana ni sawa. Lakini yeah. kama Ile, kama abrupt. tu Yeah. Nile tu ati sister yako ndio anakupenda si ndio? Yeah. Ama tani sister Amemua. ya bibi sasa. Yeah. 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 Acha tuseme hata yeah. anasaidia bibi. Mm. Amekuja ku anasaidia saidia vitu. Kama utasikizana ni sawa. Lakini kama wife ataona kama kuna mtu anataka ku, anataka kupita, yani zile vitu zenyewe anafaa afanye kuna mtu mwingine anafanya. Kwake wewe ndio ataletea lawama kwanza. Auoni umimu wake hapo. Okay. What about mm. kama wife ana work also? Yeah, kama na wake hiyo ni sawa yeah. kama na wake ni sawa lakini si ati ulete competition karibu na wife it's, it's, okay. not, it's not all about uh, competition is about wanataka ukwe na comfortable life watu okay. wako wakwe na comfortable life like sometimes una, unaacha watoi na sister ka naona bila watu wako wanaishi like wan, kuna vile vile, vile wanafaa wakwe umesikia yeah. so sister ka amekuja amekwambia ah bro hii na hii inafanyika not in a negative vibe mm. but is very positive vibe Yeah. How will you take that? Okay. Ju mimi kama mimi I think first person na joa hizi ni danganya anahunga mamangu. The yeah. second person is my dad and then the third person I believing in my sister. Okay. So anything yenye ananiambia I think nitachukulia na seriousness kidogo. Okay. Eh, but see ati nitampea ile like aende overboard ku mm. my wife no. Hata aenda yeah. overboard. Ata, eh hata so. akiniambia kitu kuna venye ni approach bibi yangu. Si ati sasa akiniambia kitu naenda kwa bibi yangu nikipiga nikishout ati nimeambiwa hivi na hivi. No, yeah. I also know this is my wife. He's also need she's also need my attention. He's also need like kuna venye ana feel kuna vitu sifai kushare na sister yangu. So sister yangu akiniambia mimi ndo najua vile sasa nitakuwa na ma, na handle. How do you think True. about that? Speaking of that, kuna mama beshte ukuja na beshte. Yes. Uma invite to them more. Ama tuseme ni boy child mmoja tu. But ame ameongeza like rende wa watu watatu wanne. <laughs> Na ni watu wengine wa heshima. <laughs> ni watu wengine wameheshimika sana. Sasa imekuweka kwa situation yenye unajiuliza maswali nitawaambiaje waende, nitawaambiaje watoke, nitawaambiaje sina budget kwa nyumba, wamekuja kwa nyumba. Ya wamekuja na wataishi for long. Wataishi for long hadi itabidi umeenda kukopa. Hawataishi for long. Hawataishi for long. <laughs> Wewe kama uni best yangu <laughs> na wewe nimeambia akuje na expect huyu peke yake na kama atakuja na watu wengine hiyo ni safari ya siku ngapi siku moja mtakunywa tu kachai kama lunch iko lakini by jioni hakuna mtu atalala hapo I think me hiyo kitu imenifanyikia mara mbili Ishai kutendekea mara mbili invite mara. just one friend akaleta wengine wawili ama watatu ama kuja na company especially madam upenda hata kama ni debt yeah. to kuna house date siku hizi by the way yes. si lazima mm. mwende restaurant unasikia tutafanya house date kwa John mm. ama tutaenda kwa T na anakuja na company na hawaendi anytime soon mtao team work vipi it may happen mara mingi the first yeah. one nilikuwa how, how did it go the first one nilim text au oh, nilim text eh uh, ile time tu mamefika nikamtext kama mtext mkiwa kwa nyumbo kama eh tuko hapa tuna tuna chat ambia ah mimi i was just having this budget do you have anything we cost share akakubali. Ndini ngambia ah send me. Amu kwa na cash. Akaniambia ni kwa na cash. Nikamwambia basi tupatane nje to sort out. 
akapata na mje tukasota. That's simple. Juu ilikuwa one day na waende. And then sometimes unajua yeye pia na feel afai kuaibisha na wewe pia ufai kuaibisha yeah. mabeste wake. Juu kama una umemwambia. So let's cost share. The second time ilikuwa sasa maboy. Mewaita kiform. Yeah. Alikuja kirende. kirende. Ah, bro, mi nilikuwa nime plan hii form ni mzinga mbili tu tuchape na then tuende zetu. Yeah. So tutafanya. Ali ilikuwa kwa budget ya kama unu kwa mechangisha kwa mwazi. Ah, no, ilikuwa tu kwa budget ya. Vile unaiza hii itabeshte ona Saturday ya ambia. Ah, bro, mm. kwa api. Mm. We kuja kijani. Pitia tu. Eh, yeah. tukate mm. kitu hapa, tukichiri. Dani mwondoke. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, kidogo kidogo, hamefika na wase wane. Wase wane. Eh, wase wane. Ati nimeambio, ah, miniambia kuna form. So, tumekuja na jamongo. Mini kwa api kwa na... Mini liwatoa, liwambia kwa hivyo. Oliwatoa nisi, ili bidu menda. Eh, sini maboy. Sasa, hakuna form hapa. Mi sina, eni nilikuwa na kuita bro tuende tuzurule. Simple. You are genuine enough and honest enough to actually share. Mi nilikuwa ita tuende tuzurule bro. Sikuwa rata na form. Hata yu form diyo sina. Haka jaribu kuangalia kume nilikuwa ni mezi. Sunda mahali. So, haka tafuta, haka tafuta. To avoid to your budget. Eh, hau ni kitu. Mi nikuambia, mi nilikuwa ita tuende tuende. Ati yao umeni yesterday times juu nini. Unajua hapi kwa hapa na complain. Mi nikanya maza. Rough time enda na yu nimewambia. Bwana mi nakuita solo. Kuje tukate hii kitu watu wawili. We umeleta community. Ya hii kuwa community. Alikuwa nataka kufresha mabeshto wengine kukuwa na jina hako. Yes. So sometimes. Usi strain because of friends. Friends. Usi overspend because of friends. Sometimes just be genuine. Because we ndi unalipa bill. Safta umewafraisha wakienda. We ndi utabaki na hiyo baden. Yeah. So sometimes we watu wanishe tu. Usi teki kujua wamefila aje buwana. Aja mwa hini. So in short you can tawanisha them. Yeah. When you feel like you can't host them anymore. But Mr. T, at what point do you say enough is enough? Maybe day one. Maybe kuna wiki fulani tuseme ni best friend wa wife wako. Ana kujanga kila time. Na imefika tuwa place wa hao mpendi. Wa ifu wako na mpenda hata ukisema anything kumusu vibaya. Wa ifu atakasirika. Na hataki yu conversation like atutaki kuhost yu mse. Tunawana na leta vibe yenye atupendi. So as long as... At what point do you say ah 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 ah? As long as mimi siko comfortable na yu kitu. Lazima yu mtu mwenye nafanya na siko comfortable. Lazima ataishia. Kwa sababu... Waifa, itabidi sa waifa choose between anta kukana mi mima kukana uyo mtu mwenye mwenye saa mwenye atakuwa kwa nyumba If I'm not comfortable na mtu kwa nyumba either waifa kwa sawa na ye lazima tusikizane kwanza kuinshua ni kwa sawa na waifa pia kufanya nini hako sawa but kama mtu mmoja hayu kwa sawa na iyo kitu hapana, haiwezi haiwezi kaka, haiwezi kaka hapo let me share with you a certain story Let me share with you a certain story, just a simple story. We used to stay with one of our uncles just immediately after high school. So, Bibiake, Bibiake alikuwa, alikuwa meanza, alikuwa me, nisemi, alikuwa me tweet ama, alikuwa meanza kutusumbua, right? So, this uncle of mine, ali tweeta, we were two, haka tweeta, haka tuambia, ah, nyinyi, ni watoto wa sister angu. So, sezi wafukuza kwa angu. But, vile vitu viko, Bibi yangu wa wapendi na nyi pia mnajua. So what I want you to do guys, and then mtafute how. Every month, every month mtakuwa na wapea 14,000. Vile mkua wili, hii pesa mtakuwa mnajua vile mna budget na ido, na ido. Sitaki like mfili kama ni mewafukuza, sija wafukuza. But vile naona vitu sahi, amwezi ishi na bibi yangu, amwezi, mi siju mbona na wahetu, but nini watu wazuri. So kitu nataka, nini endeni tu mwanza maisha, nunajua yu kitu ili tusaidia. By the end of the day, yu kitu ili tusaidia. Juu, yu time tulikuwa tunamaliza kampa sasa, mina na mose, tulikuwa tushaji built. Ile pesa yake tulianza kusave, kidogo tunatafuta hawi kuchini, tukaanza kusave. Sisi pia tukaanza kuchapa hustle, tuka grow, tuka grow, tuka grow. Sasa John kuulize, community, ha? Hacha ni muulize. Unajua, uo nasa maankua likuwa na wapatia 14K kila month. Wengine wana maankua kwa wapatia 14K. Sasa hawa watasaidika aji. But sasa what I mean is like unatuanisha mtu in a very mature way. Unajua hata yeye sometimes hakuwa in a position kupata iyo pesa. But aliwatua in a very positive way. Sometimes ilikuwa inachelewa. But after four months, sisi pia tulianza kuchapa hassle. Tunachapa mahassle zetu, tukwa na do, tunapiga mabajeti zetu kidogo kidogo. So by the time alikuwa nakuja kututembele, unajua hepi alikuwa nakuja kukonfirm. Au vijano wana survive aje. Hakaona, ah. At least tumeanza kuwa stable, adi ya kaanza kufraia, kukuja kwetu, ya? Alright, we are out of time, ni mambiwa, we should...
put a full stop on my period on that. We'll pick it up again on this conversation in the next episode of MCM. But on our socials, to call to me Kuliza, the excuses come again, you know, to me, come out, Taki guests, Namabeshte. That was uh, the question we had asked uh, then. And let me just sample two, three. Kuna mgena na semapo. Since Uhuru is still my president. Okay, okay. Watching live from Musoho, Bungoma County. Excuse me, mina is that to me, ni tawambia baba ni mgonjwa sana na ako Kenyatta referral hospital. So inafanya tuende, itafatuende uko. Uh, that is uh, Meshak Musami, HSC. And then Eliza Gishira na sema watching from Kirinyaga, out of my massive. Mm-hmm. Brian Bondia unasema hivyo demo amepanua vidole ndivyo unapanua migu. Hey, okay. <laughs> ha ha. Ha, Dedux Victor anasema makosa yenu hamkuangi la Okay, okay, okay. Need all right, sawa. Keep your feedback coming. Uh, we'll be reading it as uh, we proceed with the show and show that you continue chanting with us on the hashtag why in the morning segment is MCM on behalf of Ram and Stephanie and thank you so much to John Odwar, Mr. T the producer. I'm sure we'll carry this conversation in the next episode once again. Thank you so much for watching Why in the Morning. Mm -hmm. Have a blessed Monday as we wait for the swearing in of the president. <laughs>